The sixth edition of the Feed Nigeria Summit 2021 kicks off in Abuja with concerns over food security at a trying time in the country. A repositioning of the agricultural sector has become critical as a panacea for economic growth, according to the minister. It is absolutely necessary that we need to look and unlock the potential that we have in this country. I hope next year's Zim will be to unlock the potentials of this country, not only in the agricultural sector, but also at its other level. The African Development Bank is taking the right step for this EFC that we are going to establish. It's a welcome development. But also, we have to take it to another level. Because it has to become a link and an anchor in industrial revolution in this country. Otherwise, it is not going to make a meaningful impact on our economy. So, my dear brothers from the African Development Bank, you have to take note of this. It has to be, and the focus must be, as an engine for industrial revolution in this country, as it becomes in other countries. He is not alone in this trajectory. The Minister of State for Agriculture and Rural Development, who was represented by Director Federal Department of Agriculture in the Ministry, believes that a sustainable food system requires a deliberate focus to overcome the challenge of poor quality food supplies, hunger, malnutrition and more. Number two reason why we are doing the SAPZ is that it is a special solution for rural transformation and sustainable urban, urbanization. If you don't deal with the issues of the rural area, uh, as many colleagues have said, 70% of our small-scale farmers live in rural communities. If we don't deal with that, they keep moving to the cities and they move into slums. There's no job, they have no skills, they have no technologies, they have no connections. So we want to ensure that as a model of uh, the special economic zone, the SAPZ is done in a different way. The SAPZ as a locational uh, model is located within farming communities itself. As you know, most economic zones are located near ports, in the cities, in the urban areas. Uh, this is a, a paradigm shift, uh, if I may call it that. A goodwill message ensued with precision. A pandemic and its effect must be factored in as solutions are preferred. This summit should look at our food system exhaustively to address the needs of, very, of every Nigerian to be able to access balanced food, prevent malnutrition, reduce poverty and hunger. Food security has to go hand in hand with nutrition security. We see ma major opportunities for supporting business-to-business -business partnerships, which can also benefit the wider economy and, of course, fundamental food security. Our Department for International Trade is supporting UK companies who wish to invest and trade with Nigeria, and agriculture is a centre of great interest. There's a long-standing partnership between the UK and Nigeria. UK aid has helped Nigeria's agricultural sector significantly over the last 20 years, supporting more than one million individuals, increasing their income across Nigeria over the last five years, with projects recently in the north and in the delta. For other stakeholders, including representatives from AFDB, IFAD, and a quick business enabling environment, the message must be made clear, which is... This summit is very important, Feed Nigeria. It is a very important and a very ambitious goal, and one that is achievable. Nigeria's uh, uh, agriculture is dominated by smallholder farmers. 70% of our agriculture is dominated by smallholder farmers. And that is where if uh, our interest lies. When we are, we are partnering with the government of Nigeria to ensure that 
in every development effort, smallholder farmers, the most vulnerable amongst us, are not forgotten. Today, we know how to deal with COVID and the COVID pandemic. And us being in the room here today is a testament to that. But we do have a bigger pandemic called climate change. Uh, climate change is indeed a reality and something that continues uh, to be a bigger pandemic to us as sub-Saharan Africans. Understanding that 60% of our households depend on rainfall for their annual consumption, not just for farming, but for their feeding, the education of their kids, but also their personal welfare. So we have to continue to remind ourselves that we need to continue to train ourselves, create new practices in agriculture, one that ensures that we can continue to be sustainable and competitive. The summit will amount to nothing unless the thorny issues of infrastructure deficit and technological innovation needed to boost a sustainable food system is in place.